We had two incredible two light setups today. We decided to just utilize the Profoto kit, which means we had two umbrellas to work with and just two D1 Airs to work with as well. But that was plenty because there's so many different looks that you can achieve uh, utilizing just what comes on the kit for the Profoto D1 Airs. For a portrait look that we were trying to achieve, what we decided to do was actually utilize just an umbrella in tight, and that's gonna be at a 45 degree angle um, to our subject uh, in the front, and that's gonna light our subject, have it in really close so we get a lot of uh, wrap around to that light, and it's gonna give a beautiful portrait quality look. But to complement that, we also wanted to rim light kind of her shoulders and get a little bit of light on her hair. So we placed the other Profoto D1 directly behind her and aimed up just a little bit so that it kind of caught her hair and, and lit that up really nice. And an umbrella is an incredible light source. It's one of those light sources that is really soft. It throws light everywhere, it wraps around everywhere as well. So it's really the perfect choice to bring in close to your subject and do a really nice portrait quality light. It's simple, easy to set up, and goes everywhere. So we wanted to get uh, the model jumping on the bed and just have a fun, playful time and experience, but we knew that we were going to need to keep our shutter speeds up high. We had two different light shaping tools we knew we needed to utilize, and one was a soft white beauty dish with a 25 degree honeycomb grid, and that was lighting the subject and her face. The key to the grid was that it wasn't allowing any light to spill off into other areas of the room or to hit the wall. It's really focused on the subject. And then the second reflector we used was actually the Profoto D1 uh, reflector that's built into the unit, and that was ample to be able to actually light up the background and cast a shadow coming through those French doors to give a really theatrical look to the background as well. Well, as a photographer, I really can't be weighed down with just so much equipment. So having the ease of having just two light cases with me that has four lights in it, so I can have a setup in one area and then move to another area with ease and have my clients just choreograph throughout the entire session so it's a fun, enjoyable experience, but yet at the same token, I'm not exhausted, nor am I fighting uh, all of my equipment. It's actually working with me instead of against me. So you just saw how we did two incredible two light scenarios. However, if you want to learn more about lighting and light shaping tools and the way we do both one light and multiple light scenarios, make sure to watch the other videos in this series. You'll be sure to learn a lot about the shaping tools and how you can put them to good use.